will define the era where technology is truly empowering us and making authentic connection. Establishing experiences that are good for our well-being, you come alive and the city comes alive. You have things to do, you have places to go, you feel better, you look better. Through moving our bodies and doing something great for our mind and body. Imagine everyone in the world having that and how transformative that would be. My name is Salar Shahini. I am founder and CEO of Sweat Pals. My name is Mandy. I am a co-founder and CPO at Sweat Pals. We connect you to the local fitness and wellness events and communities happening around you. I moved from Iran to the US when I was 20. And in my grad, in grad school, I worked on an application and we spun it out as a company. And as part of that job, I was CTO of that company for, for about seven years. And I, I had to travel all the time. I traveled to 250 cities in two different countries. And I always had this problem. Where are all these run clubs? Where are all these, where do I find people to find that connection? Because going to bars and nightclubs for me is not very natural. So I met my co-founder in one of these trips that, that I had in Montreal actually, and she had amazing portfolio. I moved to the U.S. when I was 14 years old. One of the biggest events I had during high school was I started to develop psoriasis. Uh, it's a skin condition. I had it all over my body right now. I still have some on my arm. And it destroyed my self-esteem and confidence at the time. At the same time, I still I couldn't speak English and it was hard for me to make friends already. So it was a tough start. And to cure the psoriasis, I tried all the remedies I can think of at the time. None of these really helped, um, but randomly I discovered that if, if I ex expose my skin under the sunlight or if I sweat a lot, it actually helped improving my condition little by little. So I joined all the school teams at the time just because I wanted to just cure my skin and I knew that was my solution at the time. It did help my skin a lot, but most importantly, I learned my English from my team, <laughs> obviously, and I found my family here. They're my first community, and um, through this experience, I gained so much confidence, and I found that there's a support system for myself, and got a lot stronger, <laughs> and believing in myself, and knowing that whatever I set my mind to, I can always conquer it was the support of my community at the time. It's very inspiring to see her hard work and also always willing to learn. And yeah, I wouldn't have asked for a better co-founder. I think this is a this is a powerhouse. She's a powerhouse, yeah. Coming from a different country, uh, it's you know I always had the cultural difference, the language difference. But if you think about it, fitness doesn't matter. You're in the same class, different people, different backgrounds. Not only get their favorite workout done, playing volleyball or doing the cool plunge with a bunch of people, whatever it is, they always find the most meaningful, genuine connection with people they never met. You're all high fiving each other, working towards the same goal, building camaraderie. There's nothing like it. Let's go on a run and then grab something to eat. Let's go to this cool yoga club and then afterwards do the happy hour. And that's, that was always my way of meeting people and we want Sweat Pals to give that gift to everyone. We've been having a lot of great feedback. We launched in Austin last year and people love us. Half a million dollars means Miami, means uh, San Diego, means Denver, Boulder. That's definitely where we want to go. We want to take Sweat Pals to many more cities and bring it to everyone. So because of the scale that we can do this and the impact we will have personally on people and community-wise, I think we deserve to win. There was a run event and there was this girl who came in a little late and I could tell she wanted to connect with people because there was an icebreaker at the beginning, but she was late and people were already engaged. But by the end of the run, I saw her just talking with everyone and she was one of the last people and you couldn't believe this is the same person. And she just was beaming with excitement, confidence, and just imagine everyone in the world having that. I see these stories happening every day, just like how I came through what I did with my high school and my fitness community helped me in high school. It happens every day because of Sweat Pals. I'm really proud of how much we've 
done so far and really excited to see what's next for us. Thank you.